हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू न्यू क्लास टू डेज क्लास इज द कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ सिग्नल फ्लोग्राफ प्रॉब्लम्स दैट इज टूडे आई एम डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द कन्वर्शन ऑफ ब्लॉक डायग्राम टू सिग्नल फ्लोग्राफ एंड देन डिटर्माइनिंग दि ट्रांसफर फंक्शन यूसी मेसन गेन फॉर्मुला and i have taken classes on basic electrical engineering digital electronics and now i am taking control systems and basic mechanical engineering so please watch the playlist let us do the problems convert the block diagram to signal flow graph and determine the transfer function using mason's gain formula so this is the block diagram given and we have discussed the procedure for converting block diagram to signal flow graph in the previous classes first one is assume nodes at input output at every summing point at every branch point and in between cascaded blocks then draw the nodes separately as small circles and number the circles in the order 1 2 3 4 etc then from the block diagram find the gain between each node in the main forward path and connect at all the corresponding circles by straight line and mark the gain between nodes so these are the main steps so first of all we have to assume the nodes at input output at every summing point at every branch point and in between cascaded blocks and then mark the nodes so here we have to mark the nodes so this is the input so here there will be one node then this is the summing point so this is the second one then this is the third one then this is the fourth one and this is the branch point so this is the fifth then again here there is a branch point so this is the sixth one then there is a summing point seventh one then here the eighth one and this is the output so output again one node then check whether there is any other branch points or in between the cascaded blocks so here there is a branch point so mark this as one node so let us mark so this is the first node circle then second one this is second then this is the third one then this is the fourth one this is the fifth one then six Seven, then eight, nine. Nine is the output. Then here there is a node. So mark it as ten. So from eight to ten there is one node. now we have to mark the gains so here in between these 1 and 2 that is between 1 and 2 nodes the gain is 1 and mark the arrow then here also it is 1 between 3 and 4 the gain is g1 then between 4 and 5 it is 1 
then between 5 and 6 it is g2 between 6 and 7 g3 then between 7 and 8 1 8 and 9 again 1 8 and 10 again 1 now look at the cascaded blocks and also the feedback paths so from 5 to 7 there is a parallel block so 5 to 7 so this is g4 then from 10 to 4 so from 10 to 4 we have to mark a feedback path and its value is this is negative feedback that is minus h2 then 6 to 3 6 to 3 so 6 to 3 the value is minus h1 because this is negative feedback so minus h1 and now from 10 to 2 so 10 to 2 then its value is minus 1 because it is a unity feedback and a negative feedback so its value is minus 1 so this is the signal flow graph from the given block diagram now we have to find the overall transfer function using the Mason's gain formula for that first of all we have to find the forward paths so this is one forward path and here also there is one forward path here that is from 1 2 3 4 5 then 7 8 9 so there are two forward paths so the number of forward paths is k equal to 2 forward paths now we have to find the forward path gain so the first forward path gain is g1 g2 g3 that is forward path gain p1 equal to g1 g2 g3 now p2 p2 is g1 then g4 g1 and g4 are the second forward path gain now we have to find the individual loop gain for that we have to find the individual loops so this is one individual loop then this is another individual loop and this is the third individual loop and also we have this as the individual loop so from 2 3 4 5 7 8 10 to 2 so this is also one individual loop and also from 4 5 7 8 10 4 this is also one individual loop so let us mark it so the individual loops are first one is let us start from this two so first individual loop is 2 3 then 4 5 6 7 8 10 again to 2 so this is the first individual loop then second one is this one so this is the second individual loop so second individual loop is from 3 4 5 6 
again to 3. Then the third individual loop is this one that is from 4. This is the third individual loop that is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 to 4. Now the fourth individual loop is this one that is nodes are 2, 3, 4, 5, then 7, 8, 10, 2. Then the fifth individual loop is from 4 that is 4, 5, 7, 8, 10 to 4. So there are 5 individual loops and we have to find the 5 individual loop gains. So first individual loop gain is P11 equal to first loop is this one. So G1, G2, G3 into minus 1. That is minus G1, G2, G3. Next is P21, second one is 3, 4, that is this one. So P21 is G1, G2 minus H1. So minus G1, G2, H1. Then P31 is 4, 5. This, this is the third loop. That is G2, G3 minus H2. This minus G2, G3, H2. Then P41 equal to, fourth one is, this is the fourth one. So G1, then G4 minus 1. That is minus G1, G4. Then fifth one is 4, 5. This is the fifth one. And its gain value is G4 into minus H2. So, P51 is minus G4H2. Now, we have to find the gain product of two non-touching loops. So, first of all, we have to find the two non-touching loops. So, there are five loops. First one is this one. So, this is the first loop and in this loop this loop is in connection with the all other loops so individual loops means no contact with the other loops so this is the first loop and here this loop is in contact with all other loops so the second loop we have to consider. So this is the second loop. So this loop also in contact with all other loops. Then third loop is this one. So this is also in contact with all other loops. Then the fourth one is this one so here all the loops are in contact with each other so there is no possibility for two non-touching loops and also for three non-touching loops so here no two non-touching loops and no three non-touching loops. Now we have to find the values for delta and delta k. And delta is equal to 1 minus sum of individual loops. That is P11 plus P21 plus P31 plus P41 plus P51. Then plus sum of two non-touching loops are 0. That is here 1 minus, substitute the values here, that is minus G1, G2, G3, minus G1, G2, H1, minus G2, G3, H2, then minus G1, G4, minus 
G4 H2 that is equal to 1 plus take this minus outside so we get G1 G2 G3 plus G1 G2 H1 plus G2 G3 H2 plus G1 G4 plus G4 H2 now we have to find the values for delta 1 and delta 2 since there are two forward paths we have to find delta 1 and delta 2 and delta 1 is delta for that part of the graph which is not touching the first forward path so this is the first forward path and there is no graph which is not touching this path and also delta 2 delta 2 means this is the second path and here also there is no graph no part of the graph which is not touching the second forward path so delta 1 and delta 2 are equal to 1 now we have got the all the values so using mason's gain formula transfer function t is equal to 1 by delta sigma k p k delta k and that is equal to 1 by delta p1 delta 1 plus p2 delta 2 so substitute all the values p1 is g1 g2 g3 plus into 1 then p2 is g1 g4 into 1 then divided by delta is 1 plus g1 g2 g3 plus g1 g2 h1 plus g2 g3 h2 plus g1 g4 plus g4 h2 so this is the overall transfer function of the given block diagram let us do more problems in the next class so thank you for watching the class if you like the classes please like share and subscribe my channel